I got to imagine the second half you're pleased with, but the first half I can't imagine you're pleased with. Yeah, difficult. I don't think it's really that simple because I thought we started out really, really well again. You know, right, first, my first, first minute, I think we had a point blank chance at their goal, and uh, I was pleased with the way everything was going. But uh, definitely, Clint's injury situation hurt us. Uh, first, I think it took the wind out of our sails a little bit as we were trying to make a decision about whether he could continue. Uh, we tried to play with ten men for a few minutes, and I think it was a few minutes too long. It really took the rhythm out of the game, and then. Um, to put Gene in there, you know, he's done an admirable job, but you know, he's he's a, an inexperienced player, and I think it hurt our possession in the first half. And we're a team that's you know all along shown that we have to possess the ball. Uh, we need the ball. We need the ball. We, need, we have enough good players out there that we've got to have possession of the ball for long stretches of time. And we didn't do that after Clint left the game. We never really established a rhythm or got enough possession in the first half, and we were just kind of sixes and sevens. Uh, and then I thought, yeah, obviously the second half the. Uh, the reaction was very good, so I'm proud of our guys that, that they battled through that and were very difficult circumstances with the amount of injuries and suspensions we had tonight. Coach, with the way the game unfolded, what's your thoughts on the result? I think it, uh, in the end, was a, a fair result. Uh, and obviously, you know, before the game, we're very, very, very focused and, and wanting the three points, and I still feel the same way. I'm disappointed with one point because I know at home, we should win, and the opportunities were there, even in the second half, for us to, to finish off that game and win and leave here with three points. Uh, but it's not the end of end of the line. It's not the end of the season. Uh, what it means is we're going to have to pick up a few more points on the road than we thought we might have to. So uh, we're capable of that as well. Oh, talk about Thomas on a lot of effort. Uh, yeah, another monster night for Hans Olave. For me, you know, as of late, in the last six or eight games, he's been easily one of our best players, uh, easily. And tonight he was a monster on defense, and then took a fantastic goal. Uh, and then right there at the at the breath of time, he's got a header that's a fantastic header, and John Bush has made a great save. You look, you look, would you look back on this game? I mean, even if you're happy with the No, I mean, there's no doubt about it that I think that we, we could have uh, won the game uh, and gotten all three points. But you, you know, if, if you're asking if after the season I'm going to look back at this one particular game and say that we, we lost too many opportunities or we didn't walk away from a few points because we missed chances, I would say probably not. There's probably a few more games that happened earlier in the season that I would have just said we definitely lost some points that we didn't take advantage of some opportunities. So this one was just another night for me. It was a, a night where I thought we were the uh, – we were the offensive-minded team. We created more chances, and unfortunately, we didn't finish uh, enough of those. But uh, again, I, all is not lost, and there's a big, big positive to take out of that. And we battled back in more very, very difficult circumstances, as I said. Jason, you alluded to the fact that obviously possession in midfield kind of what drags this team. Mm -hmm. Was there a different option you could have gone with besides Gene? Could have Robbie Russell maybe have been a little bit because of his veteran experience, maybe a little bit better in there than Gene? James. <laughs> Those are the questions I stay up all night tonight about. Uh, and yeah, perhaps, perhaps. Uh, but we've used, we used Robbie one time before in the middle of midfield. Uh, he didn't look 100% comfortable. Jean played in our last match in the center of midfield. Uh, and I really think, to be honest, that, uh, that Jean's kind of earned, earned an opportunity. Uh, and so we, we went with that. The other option would have been Javier, but he wasn't fit enough to play that long. And that's probably what we would have gone with if Javier would have been 90 minutes fit. Did you have a time maximum for Javier? Yeah, I mean, I think at the very, very outstretch, it was 45 minutes. And we didn't want to push it that long, so we, we decided on 30. Can you talk about Javier and Yura both coming back after some injuries? Yeah, I thought uh, both of them were, were look good. Look good tonight. They changed the game for us a little bit. And, uh, you know, as we all know, they're very, very good players. So. Uh, when you can bring the, those kind of players off the bench, you know they're going to they're going to uh, they're going to make a difference, and they're going to change the game, and they did. Can you comment on Tomko's play tonight? I know you brought him out. Were you disappointed with his play after he scored a couple goals for you? Yeah, I mean, I do think that there was a little bit of a dip, uh, and that's typical sometimes. You know, I, you know, he 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 
played such a vital role in those two two matches for us, and then gets the Player of the Week honors. And he's still a little young, but you know, I did think that there was a little bit of a dip tonight uh, in what he was doing and how active he was and how much he was helping the rest of the team. So I uh, decided to make that change at halftime. Anything else, guys? Locker room's over.